You need to go heavy on loaded carries. I work with a lot of team sport athletes and maybe that makes this video a really bad example because most athletes don't care about training. They don't care about the weight room. They really just want to play their sport. But loaded carries are just so often underloaded. But loaded carries are meant to be heavy and they're way more effective when they are done heavy. I think most people assume that they need to be super upright and have the torso be absolutely rigid in order to be doing them correctly. Having a little lean and a little sway when you carry heavy loads is a good thing. It's as if people think a one arm farmer's carry is supposed to carry over to carry in grocery bags or luggage through an airport. Like you should already be strong enough to do that. Loaded carries are meant to train your ability to walk and strain under heavy loads, to literally carry heavy things. It's GPP. They're not necessarily meant to train your grip, although I suppose you could use them for that. They're not meant to train your gait cycle. You don't have to walk in the same manner as you would without any load. That doesn't really make any sense if you really think about it anyways. They aren't even necessarily meant to target your core, though they do do that incredibly well. But many people think about it as core or ab training. But if you're already lifting heavy weights, you don't need any more isometric ab training. Loaded carries is just a general means of training your ability to get from point A to point B under strain and duress. So go heavy on your loaded carries. Use straps if you need to. Apply the load in various ways. It doesn't just have to be a dumbbell in your hand. Loaded carries do train all of those things that I mentioned earlier, grip, abs, but those things don't have to be the limiting factor in the weight that you use. They can look a little messy and a little ugly. That means you're experiencing real stress. Think big picture when you do these. Think about the task at hand, not just what muscles are involved. So those are my thoughts on loaded carries. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.